She was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queen. Miss Fine. Oh, Miss Fine. <laughs> Get up. Get up. Ow! Every donut I touch ends up on my hips. She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan. The flashy girl from Flushing, the nanny named Fran. Who doesn't remember those infamous lyrics? From November 3, 1993 to June 23, 1999, Fran Drescher starred as the nasal-sounding bridal shop owner turned nanny, Fran Fine. The Jewish fashionista from Queens landed on the doorstep of English widower Max Sheffield, who was desperately in need of a nanny for his three kids. The show wasn't an instant hit, but after the first season, it rose to the top, earning 12 Emmy nominations over the course of its six-year run. It's been over 24 years since we checked in with Mr. and Mrs. Sheffield. Yep, Max finally married Fran at the end of season five. I tell you, I'm a married man. I'll tell Caitlin and then I'll kill her. <laughs> it's a very classy joint. I pick up the lid. Shellfish and I'm allergic. <laughs> the character of Fran Fine was based on Fran Drescher, who grew up in Queens, New York with her parents, Morty and Sylvia Fine, and their grandmother, Yetta. At the age of 35, Drescher pitched the hit show. Fine's style, voice, and attitude were all Drescher, and the characters of her mother, father, and grandmother were aptly named after their real counterparts. A little known fact is that Drescher's break was a small appearance in the 1977 hit movie Saturday Night Fever. The 20-year-old even danced with John Travolta as Tony Manero, but blink and you may have missed it. In the movie, she approaches Tony Manero at the nightclub and throws out one of her first famous lines. So, are you as good in bed as you are on the dance floor? Are you as good in bed as you are on that dance floor? The following year, she appeared in two films, American Hot Wax and Summer of Fear. She acted in more films during the 80s, most notably in 1984 in This Is Spinal Tap. Her first television appearance was a guest spot on Who's the Boss. From there, she went on to guest star in Night Court and ALF before landing a starring role in the sitcom Princesses in 1991. Off screen, Drescher married her high school sweetheart, Peter Mark Jacobson, when she was 21. The actress had said that her life had been about changing negatives into positives, and she certainly has done just that. In 1985, she and a female friend were raped by an armed robber at the home she shared with Jacobson, who was tied up and forced to watch. In 1996, Drescher and Jacobson divorced, and Jacobson came out as being gay. I didn't know why I was attracted to men too, and that's sort of when happily divorce came. Then, in 2000, Drescher was diagnosed with uterine cancer and underwent a complete hysterectomy, turning it into a positive Drescher wrote about both traumas in her book, Cancer Schmancer. In 2014, Drescher remarried, taking Shiva Ayodurl as her new husband, but divorced two years later. Now 66 years old, Drescher has starred in two other sitcoms, as Fran Reeves in the 2005 show Living with Fran, and as Fran Lovett in 2011's Happily Divorced. Today, Drescher has a net worth of $30 million. Um, I'm home. Oh, oh. Uh, eyelash right yeah. there. There you go. The nanny needed a British actor to pull off the role of Broadway producer Max Sheffield. Charles Shaughnessy was 34 years old when he was cast in the lead role of Max Sheffield. Born to a father who was a TV writer known for Upstairs Downstairs and an actress mother, Shaughnessy got his break in the soap opera world starring in Days of Our Lives as Shane Donovan. The actor won three Soap Opera Digest awards in the 80s and was nominated for three more in the 90s. His brother Alfred Shaughnessy is also an actor, producer, and director. Shaughnessy married actress Susan Fallander in 1983 when he moved to the States from London. He has two daughters, Jenny and Maddie, who were upset when Max and Fran fell in love and her father had to kiss Drescher. When the nanny ended, he made appearances in Mad Men, The Mentalist, Hannah Montana, Saints and Sinners, and Stanley, an animated series for which he won a daytime Emmy. But he wasn't done working with Drescher, and in 2005, he played her ex-husband in her new show, Living with Fran, which only lasted two seasons. He also returned to the soaps, and in 2010, reprised the role of Shane in Days of Our Lives. And in 2021, he took on the role of Victor Cassidine on General Hospital. Shaughnessy is now 64 years old, with a net worth of $3 million. For someone who's trying to get back to a size four, Back to implies she was there once. Because she said that, you thought I was going to say something about you not being a woman? That is beneath me, sir. Max Sheffield's English butler was flawlessly played by 48-year-old Daniel Davis, even though his accent sounds 100% authentically British. Stanley flies and shows him true love. 
The actor is actually a Southerner, born in Arkansas. Davis hit the scene in 1980 in the soap opera Texas, playing Elliot Carrington. He then starred in an episode of The A-Team in 1985. He used his fake English accent when he played Professor Moriarty in Star Trek The Next Generation, as well as when he voiced the cartoon character Long Hair in the cartoon short Long Hair and Double Dome. When The Nanny ended, the 54-year-old guest starred on hit shows such as Frasier, The Practice, and Ugly Betty, and in the film The Prestige. He was nominated for a Tony Award for his on-stage role in Wrong Mountain. With a net worth of $2 million, Davis is now 78 years old. Is it a decade the standard period of mourning? Die and let's find out. <laughs> Fran Fine had competition when she arrived on Max Sheffield's doorstep, or at least that's how C.C. Babcock saw it. Oklahoma-born Lauren Lane began her career in 1984 in the film Interface before moving on to roles in Hunter and L.A. Law before landing her role in The Nanny. She was 32 years old when The Nanny premiered. Lane had one daughter, Kate, with her husband, David Wilkins. After playing C.C., Lane was the voice of Ivana Bayul in the film Jen and was also part of The Nanny Reunion, a nosh to remember on Lifetime. Before before retiring from TV at 38, she guest starred on The Fran Drescher Show and in Love Letters with Drescher and Davis. After retiring from the business, she became a theater teacher and lecturer. Her net worth is reported to be $1 million. Fran, I know you're still in pain from getting your tattoo removed. Hello, I was watching that. Well, now you're watching this. 15-year-old Nicole Tom played Maggie, Sheffield's shy and awkward oldest child. Before The Nanny, Tom appeared in Beverly Hills 90210, then Beethoven, and Beethoven's Second. During The Nanny's run, she was a voice on Jim Henson Presents Mother Goose Stories. After The Nanny ended, Tom voiced the character of Supergirl in Superman, the animated series, and Justice League Unlimited, then went on to star in Ice Angel. Panic and The Princess Diaries. Tom never married, but has had long-term relationships with Justin Willman, Chris James, and Brian Kirkwood. With a net worth of $13 million at the age of 45, Tom has the highest net worth of the entire cast, except Fran Drescher. What's gonna happen? Shut up, Brighton. Hey, be nice to your sister. Why, because we're a family? Fran, you've always helped me. You've been like a mother to me. Get it, B, it's not gonna work. Benjamin Salisbury was just 13 years old when he landed the role of Brighton, the only son of Max Sheffield. Benjamin Salisbury started in 1992, playing opposite Kurt Russell in Captain Ron, before landing his role in The Nanny a year later. During the sitcom's run, he landed a role in the film D3, The Mighty Ducks, and voiced Tin Boy in The Oz Kids in 1996. After The Nanny, Salisbury appeared in Numbers and On the Brink before dropping out of acting. In 2006, he married Kelly Murky and had two children, but are now divorced. Seems he prefers to be out of the limelight and behind the scenes. There have been rumors that he and Ryan Gosling were related, but when asked, the answer was no. Salisbury took a job as the director of operations at Universal Studios Hollywood in 2017. Still in the business, the 43-year-old has a net worth of $1.5 million. Brighton and Maggie do, but I can't. Do they sent me home from school. Oh, my God. The youngest child, often called the smartest, was Grace, played by 8-year-old Madalena Zima. The young star went on to guest star in Seventh Heaven, Gilmore Girls, Grey's Anatomy, and Californication. In 2018, she played Tracy in the reboot of Twin Peaks, then went on to star in Heroes. Natalina has never been married or divorced and is now 38 years old with a net worth of $1.5 million. The Nanny was a juggernaut for CBS, and there really hasn't been another show like it. Fran Drescher will live on as Fran Fine, with that nasal voice forever ringing in our ears. Don't forget to come back for more classic TV fun. Thanks for watching.